what's up YouTube, I am back. If you're wondering where I've been, I'm going to give you one guess just by the sound of my voice. Randy, do you want to tell them where she's, I've been? She's very sick right I'm now. So she sick. sounds like... You know, I sound a lot sicker than I actually am. My energy levels, luckily, are so great. Luckily, I'm not so contagious. Um, it's just like a sinus thing going on. I'm not contagious, like I said. Uh, just lots of serious congestion. Like, I literally... She just used, like, three napkins to blow her mouth. <laughs> I did. I honestly told Randy, I was like, I don't even know how I still have snot in my nose. Yeah. <laughs> what a beautiful way to start the vlog. <laughs> Karen and her snotty nose. I don't know how it, there's still stuff in there. I've been sick literally since I got back from Florida, fighting it off, literally taking everything that I possibly can. And like I said, luckily I'm not contagious, I'm not low on energy, so I've still been focusing on crushing my prep, and that's really it. But as you guys know, Amanda moved out a couple of weeks ago, and so I have been on the hunt for a new apartment. I'm still in our two-bedroom apartment, but our lease is going to be up very soon, so I have to get my butt in a new apartment ASAP. And so I'm gonna take you guys along with me through all of the places that I'm looking at, and hopefully you guys can help me pick a place. There's so many options. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Enjoy these apartment tours and give me your feedback. I am just so torn on so many of these different places. Help me. Help! first time that Randy and I have seen each other in months. Canada, thank you for bringing my best friend back. Yay, I'm here. Now she's going to come visit me yeah. in Canada. Soon, in July, I will be in Canada. I'm yes. so excited. My first time in Canada. And we're holding a her fit camp. Come yes. see us. So we're at a coffee shop right now, and we are planning the details for our fit camp, which we are hosting in Southern California on Sunday. So excited. So excited. That will be in a vlog very soon, but stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. Thank you for being here. So this is the bigger one of the two that we're looking at today, right? Okay, and the balcony comes into the bedroom. I'm in the bedroom right now. There's extra storage out here. That leads into the living room. Nice big bedroom that walks into the bathroom. Closet. Another closet here. Nice big bathroom. And the best part, in-unit washer and dryer. Kitchen. I love that it's open, the kitchen's open from here to the living room. Yes, it That's makes it feel like really it's nice. Really nice stainless steel appliances. And how many square feet is this one? 750. 750, okay. I'm pretty sure that's actually what my two bedroom is right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Our place is really small. No way. Oh, it's a big community. Yeah. And it's is it pretty safe here? It seems like everything's like all gated off and like really yeah. secure. Okay. Awesome, thank you. Let's go see the next one. Bathroom in the 650 square foot one is not attached to the bedroom, but still very nice. It's the washer and dryer. And just a little short walk into the bedroom. Ooh, nice big closet in this one. This one has a view of the pool, which is super nice. I like that these, um, both of them have, seem like they have lots of like little storage. Yes. I feel like I have no storage in my place now. This is really nice. The living room. And the balcony in this unit is only attached to the living room, but it's nice and big. Nice little view of the pool. Yep. 
Kitchen's pretty similar. Still nice and open into the living room. Awesome. This is a nice setup too, and this is 650 square feet, yes? 630. 630, okay. All right guys, I don't know what number apartment this one is. I've looked at so many, but big, nice, open concept. Pretty cabinets and stainless steel appliances. Washer and dryer over here. There is a balcony that looks out to the pool. And storage closet. Here is the bedroom. One thing that's a little strange, I don't know that I love, is that the clothing closet is like in the hallway, as you can see here. And then here's the bathroom. And that's it. Okay, this one has way more natural light. This balcony goes all the way from the living room, which is over there, into the bedroom. Walk-in closet, and there's the bathroom. Okay. A huge walk-in closet. I love some shelves. Nice finishes in the bathroom. Room. And same washer and dryer. Okay. Nice. This living room is a little bit smaller, but for sure, like, I don't have, it's just me, so I don't have that much need for a ton of space. Nice little closet in the entrance. And here's the kitchen. I did like how the other one was a little more open. Yeah, sure. that was nice. And the good thing is, since you're looking to move in June, it's good to just know it's important to you because yeah. when the time comes, you can say, I like an open kitchen, I want to face last. Yeah, and now I'll have video to remember. Yeah, <laughs> Next up, I'm in Amanda's building. <laughs> just can't get enough of each other. Just the <laughs> kitchen. And it's open into the living room. The unit that's coming available for me would be on the top floor, so it would have. Nice big vaulted ceiling, dining room, balcony, washer dryer, bedroom, walk-in closet, oh yes, so much space. And some storage, huge bathroom. Tub. You guys know I love my Epsom salt baths. <laughs> Hardwood floors. This living room is a really nice space too. Awesome. Yay! Alright guys, I'm back at my original apartment where I'm still currently in for about another month. That is going to conclude this apartment search video. As you guys can see, there were so many different options, and I loved some things about some of the places, hated some things about some of the places. Um, some places definitely had better locations, but it seemed like the best location places didn't have a lot of space. So I kind of just got to weigh my options and see what is kind of a priority for me and where I'm going to feel most at home. I think I know what I'm leaning towards mostly right now, but I would definitely love your guys' opinion and your feedback. So comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully next time I see you guys, I won't sound so stuffy and congested. Oh, and for those of you that are... I'm probably going to ask this hat is actually a part of my apparel line that I'm going to be launching very soon <laughs>